Hello, back again after a month and a very long wait because this video is taking me so long. My bad, but during that long, long, long period would give you guys the idea to give me back to back heart attacks. I'm really damn grateful, you know, like serious, but 102k views, and now I rechecked again, it's 116k views and 16k 17k subscribers please what i started out not too long ago and i didn't even think many people would watch this you know to be completely transparent i actually fell out of the habit of my grind set to do my work back to back because i got covid a week before my year end trip and that whole week of being drained leg cramps and everything doesn't really leave me with, with much energy to get on my silly ipad to paint my silly things or edit my silly videos on a summarized note though this video is on my improvement on character design and some small tips and how i at least tried to teach myself like good design things and don't quote me on that i still am not sure if my designs are good it's just based on my current skill sets and my visual library i guess and I might even do more recaps and revis revisits in the future because you never know. You're always constantly improving in one way or another. My victims for today are these three lovely ladies. The lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. The wardrobe as in she has a million outfits because I literally could not find a good outfit until now. But even now, I don't know, man. These characters actually have been with me since, uh, since I started digital art around 2019 and they're just really rough. They were really, really rough when I made them. Considering I'm not the most savvy with my words and am not a teacher, I'll be giving you guys notes based on people I'm inspired by and learn from. You guys will be seeing a bit of Garcelli, Arya Pan, Ming Chen Shan again, and Itin Su. Also, the most prominent way I learned was by watching tutorials on YouTube, sifting through Pinterest, and just saving them a bunch. So here's some teachers you can find and some classes I know they have. Plus, you can also do a lot of your own research. I fall victim to not knowing most of these things because I tune out a lot of stuff and didn't actively search for them, and you know, until now. And this includes things like brushes and tutorials. Things I do to start designing. So before I usually do anything, I just sketch out or scribble whatever I think I can draw. Well, I don't know, but most of my characters are just random thoughts. They're just passing winds, you know? You, you should just like pin it down first and think about it. And then once you have a more clear idea of what you want, you can then approach the character design by having inspirations so think pinterest boards mood boards references and all the interesting you know deets then it's the difficult part is to run your brain into exhaustion by having to be creative and not infringe on copyrights or steal whole designs because that's not very cool and very much not a good thing to do when you already have a job in the future if you are gonna you know and the finalizing, the coloring, everything. This sounds more fun, but it's just difficult, you know? And finally, just like, take breaks. Because this is a really fast way to burn out, especially if it's not going your way. Take care of yourself because you need your brain to do the thinking and have enough energy to execute beauty and perfection. Let me explain. I love doing sketches just to see what I can initially make out of the thing I'm seeing in my brain just to clear things up. And it's okay if you don't use these ideas because they usually get scrapped in the end. Like I said, collect cool things, be it moods, colors, textures, design patterns, and anatomy references. One of my faves is to sift through, if I'm not having luck, is to go through a Rosellus Pinterest. This one's self-explanatory, just go ham. Let me just bring this up again. It's just really important to take breaks and what I usually like doing in that time is sifting through my favorite artist, going on Twitter, and instead of beating myself up for bad designs, I just appreciate them. And it takes a while to be great, so just use your downtime being happy or something. So, Zola. This is actually one of my older OCs 
so I've been redesigning her for a while. Before I got to this point, I created a whole canvas full of funky little poses to copy and paste and fill up with designs. I'll just let it play. This first design was actually a bit too busy and difficult to make out. It looked cool, but coolness doesn't really feel solid in this case. I needed something drawable. You know, it's not really easy to draw armor unless you've been drawing armor for years or months, you know? I'm not that savvy with metal. And it actually also doesn't fit into the usual notes in designs, in design, which is just like, um, a character's design should really reflect their environment, their culture, or their personal quirks. But of course, all of these are optional because people are out there drawing just normal people, you know? It, not, not everything has to be fantasy. This is what it would have looked like if I continued using that design. It's not bad, but it's not great either. So I just like, eh, you know, it's not really her either. It's not Zola at all, it's like the most far-fetched one I did. The second design actually looks closer to her older or like her last last design. However, it still fell short and doesn't really show anything relevant. And just like I said, I redrew the old design and this is would have looked like. And it does look good, it looks cool and all, but it still doesn't feel like Zola. Now see, the third one is actually looking closer to what I wanted silhouette-wise, but it's still a little bit weird with awkward stuff inside it. It still doesn't really show anything relevant and I sketched it out just to see and it actually looks really cool. <clears throat> Regretting it because I fixed up the shoes and made it more like a bubble on the bottom, kind of like Ochako Uraraka, is that her name? And give her a whip, and it's giving <sighs> Magera. This one was actually um, when I remembered Avatar existed, and was like, you know what? Maybe I should make her look a bit more odd, you know? But I wasn't really good with armor back then, so I kind of sucked. And this was when I was leaning more into her dragon-esque design. But I did not really like it because it's just so much armor with not really good design. Like, it wasn't really purposeful. There wasn't really a reason behind all those marks. And the one thing that looked interesting was her hair and her body. Also, it's okay to reuse or go back to old dress because you may have new skills or improve since then to do them better and know which have good design potential. So why did I end up picking this one? Environment-wise, it has a lot of thick fur because, you know, thick fur means cold, winter. Get my drift? Of course you do. And culture, I... Well, no, I kind of fell short here because I had a lot of iterations with different cultural elements, but I can definitely do a better job next time and I don't need to have the perfect design right now because... You know, I'm not a professional. Uh, I don't have a whole team telling me, oh, but this one can be fixed, this one can be here. And I don't have people who write up stories to tell me this. So I'm on my own here. And personal quirks. I I don't know. I just exaggerated some stuff to make it more cutesy. So I think that's ca that counts. But with her, you know, her, this sketch, I think I landed it a bit better. You know, it's like messier hair. And just, I don't know, it looks cuter. She just, it's like my own Cora.
I applied that shapey hair that I keep mentioning and that light source and all in clip mask so it's neat and tidy. I added a dark background just so that my rim lights pop and overlapping stuff pops and to finalize shading. Zarya. So anyways, I'll just explain her design after this part. Thank you. 
Time to dissect and analyze. So anyways, simple line art over flats with color drop or dull flats with end clip mask. One thing is that flats can usually be mid-tones, you know, whatever that means. Establish harsher shading and contrast with detailing folds and forms. The golds are done by lining the areas I want and clipping the layers above to shade it. Sometimes whenever I do golds, I usually use like texture brushes sometimes just to give it scratches or just a uh, funner and more interesting look, you know? Final. I did some balancing and as usual played around with the color edits, you know, color balance. Um, I checked in grayscale to look at my values just to make sure it looks great. The design. All of these are my drafts for her final design, so let's get to the explanations. I'll be letting them play and I'll pitch in soon. All of those designs I've made have origins from her old designs and so on. So anyways, this is why I chose to draw her the way I do. These two first drafts actually look too motherly for a young adult that loves to go around and do stuff and study and is a nerd, you know, like Twilight Sparkle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now see, these other two are the other side of the spectrum, like the most extremes, where she's more athletic looking. But they aren't my designs at all. I wanted to draw them out to see if they'd fit so I can build on top of it. Left is taken from Jennifer Westling's uh, character concept and right is from Iwamoto underscore 05 uh, drawing of Ajay's, Ajay's skin from Apex Legend. So how would I mix all these designs to go from 1 to 2? I kept the things I liked and hints from her old design. Went crazy with everything else and done. For Europe, she's got a hell of a lot of drawings, but she's always got one design. She's got the same design since, what, 2019? And that's, you know, and, it, and they were pretty basic. There, and there's really nothing wrong with that, but I felt like everyone else was getting a new and shiny design every year, and she hasn't been loved other than in paintings that I remember to do once in a while. So anyways, while I was designing, it's like something just took over me, and my eyes glazed over, and suddenly, I remember this witch and this one game that just stuck in my head. The 
funniest part here is that I tried to incorporate her huge hat from her old design, but I was like, mm, they don't really look good. And it kind of messes up that whole silhouette thing. And like she was wearing a latex suit at this point, and it did not look good. So I just left it out, and she had so many frills and everything. It's like, ooh, not a good idea. So this is like my second draft, and I just went ham with the pose, and then that's where I realized, oh my god, I actually like this design, but I don't really like the latex base. So I was like, oh, you know what I should keep from her old design? Her big skirt. You know, it's like the big back skirt thing, because it looked really, really cute. And then suddenly, I was like thinking, you know who else has a billowy skirt and has bows in her hair? And it's blue. So anyways, I made notes of what designs I liked and do a second sketch. And it was just to see an alternate uh, pose, just to see if her design actually like, looks good. After that, I just lined everything with a really, 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 really saturated red and just uh, bucketed everything else because this one tutorial I saw from one of my moots, my mutuals, they said use a saturated color because you'll see it better. And as someone who's been only using gray, it kind of makes sense because you can just pull down the saturation and just made it, make it brighter, you know? Here I'm trying to figure out what her color scheme is going to be. Well, I know her color scheme, but I don't know where to place them because it's hard. It's really hard. But this time, I was like, let me just do her flats. But I was like, ew, they don't really look good. So I did color edits until it looked really, really bright and shiny. And I was like, wow, it reminded me of Pokemon a little bit. You know, not really, but like, you know, those shinies, the shiny versions of the normal Pokemon. Yeah, that's how I felt. And then I used it as a color scheme for Yurov's uh, big thing, big painting. And for all those people that keep saying Gwen from League of Legends, I hate you all. But also, you're very correct. You can see it. But her bangs on the left. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. It really doesn't count. You can't tell me. So in this uh, second part, I actually had re a lot of fun drawing it out because oh my god, that pose looks so good! Like, appreciate it! Oh my god! I'm sorry for mentioning this again and again, but those Gwen comments keep popping up whenever I'm editing this or just drawing in general, and I just have to keep adding them in to the video because oh, they annoy me so much. Like, yes, she is inspired by Gwen. Please stop saying she looks like Gwen. And in general, please stop saying a character, like an, uh, an artist OC, looks like someone. Like, it's not wrong, but it just is rude, please. And it just gets so annoying when this character you've been drawing for a while and you thought was like, wow, this is such an original and just cute design. And then user1567 comments, oh my god, is this insert name from a popular franchise like it's really sad you know ruins our day a little bit you know you gotta be nice on the internet sometimes you know you can't bully people you have you have to be nice you have to make sure your words aren't mean
Don't mind the random flashes of um, Sean Sketches' uh, character sheet for Vasilius because I really liked the font and I was like, you know what, let me just draw it out because I don't have applications or softwares that have these funky uh, tools to make your own font because I don't feel like learning another software just to do a font. I maybe will be have... No, I maybe will need to do it in the future, but now, no, definitely not. Sorry. Yeah, and I think that's it. This is now how they look like. <laughs> maybe more videos in the future. They might take me a while. Toodles. <laughs>